very warm welcome to our Children's Day services. Uh, lovely to have you with us and if you're visiting, I bid you most welcome as we gather to worship God. Your children will be leading us today. Jesus, the Son of, uh, the Son of Man, came to seek and to save the lost and we'll be thinking about those words later in our service. But first of all, our children are going to sing our opening hymn, This Is The Day. So our children will lead us in singing our opening hymn. into the world to seek and to save the lost. And Father, we confess our sin before you. We pray that you would forgive us for all the hurtful words, for those things that we say that disappoint you and hurt other people, for the things that we do that hurt other people. And so we pray, Lord, that you would forgive all our sins and that you would help us to become more like Jesus. Come Holy Spirit and be with us now in this service and we give you all the praise and all the glory because you're our great God and you love us. You love every one of us from the youngest child in church today to the oldest. You care for us and so we thank you that you're our God and that we can be your people, that we are your children when we believe in Jesus. And so may we know that Jesus is our friend, that he's our saviour, and that he is with us now. And may we do everything to please him. So we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Sing this lovely hymn instead. Uh, Jesus said that if I fear, I should come to him. Is that the first song? There's, we have to go back a verse. So we'll sing this one so pray. Up in the air of your feet, and we'll sing. You can sing this one for us.
in and leading us in that lovely song. I said at the start today we were going to be thinking about Jesus came to seek and to find that was, which was lost. And Sharon's going to read for us now a Bible story about something that was lost. And I want a very careful attention because we'll be thinking about this later. So Sharon's going to read from Luke chapter 15. Chapter 15, The Lost Sheep One day, when many tax collectors and other outcasts came to listen to Jesus, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law started grumbling. This man welcomes outcasts and even eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. What does he do? He leaves the other 99 sheep in the pasture and goes looking for the one that got lost until he finds it. When he finds it, he is so happy that he puts it on his shoulders and carries it back home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says to them, I am so happy I found my lost sheep. Let us celebrate. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 respectable people who do not need to repent. Okay, while well, we still work with this computer and uh, we're going to have our offering but before that just to say thank you to our children for coming to Sunday school every week and to your teachers and uh, to those who have been training you for the last few weeks you've been doing great today I'm going to hear two more songs and more prayers and uh, we had a great barbecue on Friday evening the weather didn't look good about five o'clock but the sun was shining over the estate of Barnes Court and we want to pay tribute and thank uh, His Grace the Duke uh, for allowing us to have the use of the estate and to thank him for his generosity that he gave us a gift that paid for everyone's ice cream on the night. So that's a, a very generous uh, gift from His Grace the Duke. Uh, this week we have Kirk Session meeting uh, Monday evening at 8pm. Kirk Session. I'll say that again so that they're all listening and wide awake and they'll know to be here tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. Uh, this afternoon I have the service now in Mountjoy, then I have the service in Eden Dairy at 3 o'clock and uh, then I'm in Creven at 7 o'clock. So uh, this has been my best. It's supposed to be bad by the time I get to 7 o'clock tonight, <laughs> but I can't even remember what I've called things in the past. But we'll have our offering, our offering for the Lord's work will be received. So Lord, we, as we give to you our gifts, we give to you our love, 
and pray that you would accept our thanks for all your goodness and love shown to us in Jesus, who came to seek and to save the lost. In his name we pray. Amen. We're all going to stay, we're going to stand now and sing, um, God is always near me. Uh, we've got the PowerPoint working, so we'll pick up again. Um, so we'll stand to sing, God is always near me.
good to say thank you to God for all his goodness. So let's just continue with a moment of prayer. Father God, we pray for those who need you today, for anyone who is sick. And today we continue to remember little Charlie and his mum and dad, Gemma and Ryan. Be with them and grant continued health and strength. Lord, we remember this family and we surround them with our love and our prayers. We remember our senior members and we pray you would be with them. We remember everyone as they get their holidays from school this week. Children and teachers and classroom assistants and all who work in our schools. We thank you for a year's work. And we pray that the sun will shine this week and through the summer and that our children will enjoy a restful summer filled with sunny days and lots of lovely experiences. Father, for each of us today, we all have our own prayers, our own concerns, our own needs. Maybe a health issue, a job concern, a financial problem, a niggle. We bring them now to you. We thank you that you are kind and strong, that you are gentle and loving, and that you care for us. So be with us, and those that we know and love, may they know your grace and your help. Amen. I'm going to read again very quickly, uh, just a few verses continuing on, and boys and girls, you listen again, because we'll be thinking about this person. From Luke 15. Suppose there is a woman who had ten silver coins and she loses one of them. What does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps her house and looks carefully everywhere until she finds it. When she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbours together and says to them, I am so happy. I found the lost coin. Let us celebrate. In the same way, I tell you, the angels of God rejoice over one sinner who repents. Amen. We're going to listen to our boys and girls again as they sing, I think, two pieces. Well, there's some pictures here from the barbecue on the other night. So you can see the good weather with the Easter egg hunt. Imagine we had an Easter egg hunt in June. Uh, but lots of ice cream, lots of burgers, lots of sausages, lots of games, lots of mess, uh, lots of fun. And look, I've got a new job. This one doesn't work out. Uh, this is called Johnny B's. It's going to be called Johnny C's. And uh, I'll be out around. So, uh, yes, keep going. Okay. Maybe we'll all sing this one together first. Uh, that order of service you have, forget about it. <laughs> Best laid plans and everything, just forget it today. Uh, one of those days, one of those weeks. It's time I was on holidays, but before we do that, I'm special because God has loved us. So, boys and girls, everyone, let's <coughs> sing together.
now you to invite your children to sing two choruses for us. And they have lots of actions and lots of energy for us today. So they're going to lead us in singing uh, our next two pieces. Yes. 
you know, I lost the seven carakeys and I didn't, we had two sets and I didn't find them for about three years until I was cleaning the car to sell it. They were in the glove compartment. Next picture. Do you ever lose a remote control for yeah. Effie, that was too quick. <laughs> we can lose remote control, yes. And where is it usually? Down the back of the sofa or something? Yeah, yes. Or, yeah. Next one. Do you ever, anybody ever lose their mobile phone or mommy or daddy or daddy? <laughs> Effie, you're too quick up with this. <laughs> Do you ever lose anything over here? Yes. We can lose mobile phones. And then, you know, someone has a great idea. Oh, why don't you ring it? Then it's up silent. You can't find it. Half of my life is spent looking for car keys, remote control, and phone. Next thing. Do you ever lose any Lego? Yeah, of course. And you know, where do those bits of Lego go? They, they seem to be lost everywhere. Sam, do you ever lose Lego? Yeah. Over here, probably. Yeah. And then, what is it? Don't you always seem to stand on a piece of Lego with your bare feet? That's when you find it. It's always the way. Next one. Anybody ever lose a dummy, brother, sister, baby? Oh, yes. Maybe we can lose it. It falls out somewhere. But next one. Anybody ever lose a toy car, a toy? You bring it somewhere. Yes, maybe you can lose it. Like a hot wheel car or whatever it is. You bring it somewhere and you lose it. Yeah, can that ever happen to you? You know, some people would lose their head. <laughs> yes, you would. I'm sure you would. Did you ever get lost in the shop? Hands up if you ever got lost. You wandered away. Here. Yes. Hands up down there if you want to lose them for an hour later. That's a different story. Uh, maybe you, you get lost and it's frightening, isn't it? It's happening to you. Those shops are the worst, you know, aren't they? Okay, the next one here. Here's a woman, and we just read about her in the Bible. What's she looking for? A remote control, do you think? Is she looking for Lego? Is she looking for car keys? What do you think this lady is looking for, Sharon? Can you tell me? A coin. She had only one coin. She lost a coin. She had ten coins, and she lost one of them. Because she was a widow, she had very little. And she needed to go and find it. And she searched everywhere. She probably got down on her knees. She pulled out the couch. She looked at the mats. She looked everywhere because she needed that one coin. And then what we read, when she found it, she said to her friends, let's celebrate. She brought all her friends together. We'll think about that in a moment. Here's another picture. A sheet. Just one sheet. A farmer had a hundred sheep. One went missing. How many does that leave that he has? Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Good. It sums here. Brilliant. Do you remember a few weeks ago we were had the darts board in the church and now the golf here where but it's good for your counting, isn't it? Ninety-nine sheep. If I had ninety-nine sheep, I'd be happy. I was speaking to a man at General Assembly in Belfast and he sells sheep, purebred, Texels, something or other, and he was getting them out. Twenty thousand pound. Lamb? I'll go ninety-nine by twenty. <laughs> but anyway, he lost one. Did he say I'm not gonna go bother looking for that one? No. The farmer left and he went looking for just one little sheep. Here's another picture. There was a father and he had two sons. And one of the sons said, I don't, love, I don't want to live here anymore. Give me the money. And he went away off. And he lived in a faraway country. He had no money left. He had no friends. And do you know who he went looking for? His, bro his father, yes, was waiting for him. And when his father saw him coming, he threw his arms around him. He kissed him. He gave him a hug. He put a new shoes on his feet and everything. Because, you see, all those things got lost. A sheep got lost. What else got lost? A coin and a... A son. But everybody went looking. And the next verse here up on the screen. Jesus came to this world. Jesus left his home in heaven. 
to seek, to go looking for people that get lost, and we get lost because of our sin. We don't do the things that God wants us to do, and we get make a mess, and we, we get lost from God. We don't obey God. But Jesus came looking for us. Just the way the farmer went looking for the one sheep, and the lady went looking for one coin, and the father went looking for one son. God comes looking for you. He comes looking for me, and he comes looking for each of us. And why does he come looking for us, do you think? Hands up if you think. Why does God come looking for us? Because he loves us. And that's all I want to say to you today, boys and girls. And girls. God loves us. That he came looking for us. Do you know, I go looking for my car because I love my car. I go looking for my remote control because I like watching Netflix. I like going looking for things that when I lose them because they're precious to me. And you are precious to God. And he loves you so much. That Jesus came and died for you. Because he loves you. Do you remember that? That Jesus came to see you. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that we are precious to you. We thank you that you love us. And that Jesus came to earth looking for us. And we say sorry for all the ways we get lost from you because of our sin. And maybe today... Jesus is looking for you. And because he loves you. And he wants to find you. So be with well. Be with us, we pray. And help us to follow Jesus, who loves us. Amen. We're going to sing our concluding praise, Jesus loves me, the same for the Bible tells me so. Church. We have over 22 children here today 
at the front of the church, which is just great. And you should be encouraged. And as a congregation, we are blessed. We are meeting for worship over the summer, so I would appeal to parents not to disappear and to bring your children out. We will have children's churches every Sunday, and uh, we will have a children's slot during the pro service, and we will have little activities for the children to do during our Sunday services. So do come along over the next uh, weeks, over the summer months. Sharon, I'll hand over to you, and if you want to call the children out, their names. Let's start with the Bible class. Grace Young. Grace Young. Hello. Tyler. Sarah Forbes. Jack Lewis. And Lance
service to a close and can I ask everyone to stand for the benediction and then we'll make our way into the church hall for hot dogs and bacon wraps. Father we thank you for the noise, the buzz, the excitement, uh, for the ex just the exuberance of life in this building. We thank you for children and we know that they're precious to us but more precious to you because you made them and you know them and you love them. Thank you for our Children's Day service and be with us as we go into the hall to enjoy food together. Bless our time. We thank you for Dorothea and Linda and Ashley who have been preparing the food. And we pray you'd bless us as we enjoy time together. And we do thank you that you came to earth to seek and to save us. And so now we pray for one another as we say the words of the grace together. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore.